With the introduction of a heap of new CPUs hitting the market in 2017 that have just shaken everything up, people are wondering what are the hot CPUs in the used price performance segment. Well, don't worry, today I've got the top five picks that'll help you get that best price performance in games and productivity if you're on a budget. Welcome back guys, and today I'm picking five really hot CPUs that are gonna start in the order of what I think's the least hottest to the most hottest being number one. However, before we get into that, I will mention two honorable mentions that were really close to making the list, and that is the QHQJ i7-6400T engineering sample. Now this thing was so close to making the list, but it does need a pretty expensive Z170 motherboard, and of course it won't work on all Z170 motherboards, and they will need a Pacific BIOS. I'll have more information up here if you guys want to check that out. Also, the next CPU that didn't make the list but was very close was the E5450. Now this is a very old CPU now. Dating back a good 10 years now, this motherboard is starting to see its end of life, even in the used price performance segment. However, if you can overclock it and you can get really good DDR2 memory, or if you're lucky to get a motherboard that supports DDR3 memory, then this CPU can still be very kick-ass. Coming in number five is the Athlon IIX6 1055T. This is a six core, six threaded processor from AMD. Now the good thing about this CPU is that the AM3 motherboards are pretty cheap. Having a quick look, I saw one available with international shipping for $55. Really good deal, especially with the $55 CPU. You can have a pretty kick-ass CPU and motherboard on a budget. However, keep in mind you will want to overclock this CPU as it is quite dated now in terms of IPC. Coming in number four is the X5650 Xeon. This is a really kick-ass CPU. Six cores, 12 threads for $27. Are you freaking kidding me? Absolutely amazing price performance for the CPU alone. Now, the reason this didn't get pushed up the list is because the X58 motherboards are still very rare and still very expensive. Having a quick look, I couldn't find one cheaper than $100 US. However, even those cheap $100 ones are not the motherboards to get. They will have problems overclocking, so you will want generally a motherboard from a reputable brand like a Zeus, MSI, ASRock, or Gigabyte, and you will want it to have six slots of memory. They're generally the motherboards to go with on this platform, and of course, they are generally expensive, but the CPU price performance alone, man, it's my favorite CPU of the bunch. However, again, the motherboard set this thing back to the list at number four. Coming in at number three is a very odd CPU. This is the E5 2683V3. Now it's the Haswell architecture and it's 14 cores, 28 threads. And it's on the Haswell IPC. So it's very fast, very potent. Now you may be wondering at face value, it's only two gigahertz on all cores. Correct, however, there is a hack or a mod you can perform to get it to turbo up to 3.1 gigahertz on all cores. Now with these speeds and this many cores and threads, this thing is an absolute beast. Of course, it is expensive coming in at $470, but it is a choice for someone looking for something just with a heap of power, especially for gaming and productivity, or even more. Coming in at number two is the i5-2500K. This is going for 80 US. Now the reason this made it pretty far up the list is because not only does it overclock extremely well, the motherboards are currently very cheap out there at the moment. Doing a quick scan of motherboards that are readily available and at very good prices. Now the good thing about the CPU is it will overclock on not only P67s or Z67 motherboards, they will overclock on Z77 motherboards as well. So if you manage to find cheaper motherboards on that lineup, then you can overclock this thing to a good solid 4.6 gigahertz stable on most cases. I have heard of people getting them up to five gigahertz with very good cooling, but since you're on a budget, you're probably gonna go with air cooling. And in the case when I got one of these in, it overclocked on a $20 motherboard to 4.6 gigahertz on a mediocre air cooler. Now coming in at number one is the X3460. You can currently get these for around $40 and they're absolutely phenomenal value. Four cores, eight threads, and the good thing about this platform is the motherboards are readily available. I did a quick scan and I could find P55 motherboards for pretty cheap, also H55 motherboards for very cheap as well. So these CPUs will overclock on those lowest tier motherboards, the H55s, and they will do it quite well. At least in my experience, I have in the past got these CPUs up to four gigahertz on these H55 motherboards. So highly recommended coming in at number one here. Awesome value for money, even in 2017. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's top five used price performance CPUs for 2017. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite pick or if you have another pick that didn't make it into the list because there are a lot of good used price performance CPUs out there. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.